All right, what up y'all, it's Matt. So I got a quick trick for y'all for uh, working on uh, these Evinrude outboards. Only use Champion spark plugs. So they're the best for Evinrudes. Um, a lot of people don't know that and they'll go to the parts store and they'll try to give you like NGK, some weird cross reference, don't use it. So the spark plugs that I run in this one are called QL77JC4 and it has, uh, it's not a permagap plug, it's not a surface gap plug, it has the J you know, like a regular spark plug. I made another video on this a long time ago. I'll post it up here where it goes more into detail about the differences, but basically this works awesome for low speed trolling and stuff like that. It can be extremely temperamental with the other ones that don't have the little end on them. Um, yeah, a story time real quick. So on my old Evinrude 140, uh, we had those permagap plugs in there before I knew anything about outboards and it kept trolling, you know, when we were trolling, it kept dying, it kept fouling out, you know, it ran like crap. It would, it would be sluggish to get up on plane, you know, it was horrible. Like, we'd be going at full throttle, wide open throttle, everything would be fine, you know, stop and troll a little bit, uh, you know, kill the engine, fish, start it back up, it wouldn't start. It would take forever. Then once it finally got started, it was like, it did all of that junk. We put these in there. Uh, this is a QL77JC4. We used the, um, I think it was the L77JC4. It was a different plug, but the same, pretty much the same thing and it fixed it instantly. So you can only get away with doing this trick on certain Evinrudes. Um, I don't think it works on other outboards, but basically if it has a permagap plug, you can replace it with a regular J plug, but you have to look it up. If you just try to do it, the piston will hit it. It'll hit the top of it and it'll mess stuff up. So I'm gonna show y'all um, a little bit more about this outboard and I got the service manual over here. I'll show you the list of plugs um, but yeah, I'll put links in the description to all the plugs that I know will work because uh, this makes a whole world of difference on old outboards. Y'all, let's look at the service manual. All right, so here's the book. QL77JC4, L77JC4. The rest of these are permagap, uh, surface gap plugs. This is a 150 and I know the QL77JC4 works great. So I don't know, this chart kind of sucks. I'll post links in the description to better charts that y'all can see the exact make and model and all that stuff, you know, to cross reference it, to find the right ones, but only use Champion. So low speed operation, um, I don't know why they're recommending. These are all surface gap plugs besides these two right here. So I don't know why they're recommending that. I know, uh, the Q is better for electronic noise suppression. So if you have a radio or a fish finder or something, it's kind of like a resistor plug. It cuts down on the, the spark interference. So definitely run the Q if you got that stuff on your boat. Um, I've used the QL7JC4 on this one, and it's a 150, so I know that works good. But these surface gap plugs suck for low speed operation, putting around at a lake, stuff like that. They will foul out on you hard starting, poor performance. So check out the links in the description and you'll know for 100% if it'll work for your motor or not. Don't just go using it because like I said, if you just go throwing this in there, you're gonna have problems. Um, one last thing, the surface gap plugs are better, I guess for when these were new and you know, they were, uh, you know, people were going in oceans and stuff and they were long, distance wide open throttle they wouldn't foul out they work better for that but for lake putting around and stuff you know man don't use them not in these motors at least all right y'all so that's it for the video champion spark plugs are the absolute best spark plugs to use in these old evan roods um it's a great trick to know so i know this works on a 1979 evan Rude 140 this is an 86 Evinrude 150, so it works in that uh, little window right there. And then up until the mid 90s, it'll probably work. Early 2000s, I don't know at that point. Uh, E-Tex, that's totally different. So if you don't have uh, one of these Evinrudes that this will work on, you know, and you don't see it in any of the service literature I'm about to post down there, then don't try it. Like I have a force outboard over on over there. Um, yeah, don't try it on something like that. Um, it has to be specified because the piston will hit the bottom 
and you will cause internal motor damage. So I'm not responsible for any damages if y'all try it, you know, and it's not recommended. That's it for the video, y'all. I'm out. Peace.